Hey good people, what's going on? I am going to combine a couple of my locks and I figure you guys might want to see it. Yes, combine my locks. <laughs> so there's a couple of locks towards the front of my hair that is a bit smaller than the rest and I'm starting to enjoy the thicker size lock. So this one right here, I previously combined and I'm going to combine these two and I figure you guys might want to see that so yeah I'm going to record how I do it this is not how you should do it it's how I decided to do it I decided to combine them by doing a two strand twist and just twisting them together and I decided to do the two that were next to each other instead of on top of each other because even though I'm not super particular about having super clean straight parts, I did want to make sure that I am able to do a middle part. So I didn't go across the row of my middle part, I just did them next to each other and it made it work out. So then I am going to seal them together at the root by continuing my interlocking process. And since they are parallel to each other with a vertical part i'm going to start interlocking horizontally so that i do not create a hole within my lock got it <laughs> i hope so so i'm just going to continue the interlocking process by going in the opposite direction to get it closer to my roots And here's a close up of how that looks at the roots. You can see it looks like one lock. <laughs> you can't really tell that it's two combined locks until you look at it here where you see more of the two strand pattern. This is without anything holding it together at the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little rubber band. I'm not gonna leave the rubber band on forever, of course, but this is just in to get it to seal a bit more without unraveling. Now I've combined my locks previously in the past and I've sewn them at the ends together. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do that, but I just wanna see how it works with the rubber band first. So here's a comparison of two of the ones that I've combined, two on the outside, and the one in the middle is a lock, a single lock that has not been combined. So you can see the comparison of the sizes. And that's it guys, my locks are now combined. So that takes me from 294 locks to 292. And you can kind of see the rubber bands, but I will. And here I'm showing you that I can still part it into a middle part. It's not the straightest because I didn't look in a mirror, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, good people. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you, Locks and Luggage, for my pretty shirt. It fits me so well because I love to travel and I have locks. So <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, good people, bye.